Okay, so in my last video, my 2016 favourite, I mentioned that my favourite book of the year was One by Sarah Crassan. This brilliant book right here. And I love it so much that I thought that it deserved its own video. And also because half my review of it got cut in that previous video because my camera battery died. And that's not good. So I thought I would do a quick video on why I love this book so much, what's so great about it, and why you should read it immediately. This book is about two sisters called Tippy and Grace who happen to be conjoined twins. And they've been homeschooled their whole lives, but when finances get a bit tight, it becomes necessary for both their mother and father to go to work. And this means that there's no one at home to homeschool them, so they have to go to an ordinary school. And it's really just a little snapshot of their lives. So it looks at the health problems they face, it looks at their relationships to the various family members, their mum, their dad, their grandmother, their sister. It looks at how people treat them at school and in the outside world. It's very moving very very beautiful and it's a very interesting look at a very special sisterly relationship but also a look at people who may be different to us and what they have to deal with in the world so it's specific to conjoined twins and what issues they have to deal with so specific health issues related to being conjoined but just generally it could be applied to how we treat people with disabilities or deformities or illnesses or just things that we don't necessarily see every day and that's what makes this book so special and I think so important in that it's more than just a way book about conjoined twins it can be applied to a much bigger sphere but also it's just really fascinating there's a lot in here that I never would have thought of specific to conjoined twins I didn't know a lot about conjoined twins I've not watched a lot of documentaries or read a lot about it so it was very interesting to think about what it would mean to be conjoined and what it would mean to live your life permanently attached to someone else. The book is told from Grace's perspective so we really only get to know one sister particularly well but it does do a good job of highlighting that there are very big personality differences between the two girls. They have different likes, different dislikes, they behave differently, they interact with the world differently so it's very good at establishing two separate people two different personalities even though they might share the same body and one of the things that I thought was so interesting is that while establishing these personalities but living within the same body there's an account of an account's probably the wrong word but there's a little section in the book where Grace the narrator talks about how when Tippy drinks coffee she can feel the effects so she'll get a headache she'll feel jittery all day. It won't just affect Tippy because they share this body, even though Grace might prefer not to drink coffee. There's another point in the book where Tippy decides she wants to try smoking. And Grace was very strongly that because they have health difficulties due to being conjoined, that they shouldn't. But Tippy goes ahead and does this. So it's this constant push and pull between wanting to assert your individuality but not being totally able to because what you do very literally affects somebody else because they are joined to you. Good allegory there, kinda. <laughs> Another aspect of the book that I really loved is related to what I said about it being able to apply to anyone who we may perceive as different to us. So if the light just went funny, the sun keeps going behind a cloud. Anyway, so just generally applicable life messages for people who we might perceive as different and what they might have to deal with on a daily basis. You know, I'm able-bodied, I don't have anything externally that defines me as different, so I don't necessarily know what somebody who does have something that external that defines them as different has to deal with on a daily basis and what ignorance they might have to face. So at one point in the book, the girls go to school and they're going to put things in their lockers and there's another girl standing a little bit behind them and they say to her, you know, there's space, you can come, you can get your locker and she sort of whispers, I'm not going to, I don't want you to touch me. And that really stood out for me in the book as I couldn't believe that ignorance, I couldn't believe that she was looking at these girls and just seeing them as odd and strange when if she'd taken the time to speak to them she would have seen that they're interesting and dynamic and they're two people with their own personalities and there's nothing wrong with them or wrong with the way they are they are just they just look different to her and 
it's made me more aware of how of the struggles that people with disabilities and deformities might have to deal with on a daily basis that I might not be aware of and hopefully it's made me more sensitive and I really like the fact that, that was included in a YA book because I think it's something that doesn't get talked about enough and that people don't think about enough. A quick note on how the book is written. I really love the way the book is written. It isn't written in a normal narrative, it is written in free verse, so it reads like poetry, which I love. I love poetry, I thought the free verse was beautiful, I also thought it worked particularly well here in that you don't get a vast amount of information about the twins or about what they're thinking. You get these little poetic snippets of their day and of what they're going through and of what their life is like and that in some ways I thought made the book even better, made the book even more beautiful because it allows you to imagine other aspects of their life, it allows you to ha see a snippet of their life and then think more broadly about what their life might have been like, what that snippet says about their wider life. The one criticism I had was that towards the end it felt like the book got quite rushed and some big events happen. Not really a spoiler, not really a spoiler, but something happens and I felt like the author rushed over it a bit, like there's this build up to this moment and then it just ends very quickly. But that's probably a good sign that I want to, that that's my only criticism of the book in that I wanted more, for, I wanted more. Uh, I didn't want it to end. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing and up to that point I was really loving it. I still really loved it even though the ending I felt was quite abrupt. It's very very beautiful, very very poetic. The language is beautiful. These these little poetic snippets I thought personally were really stunning. There are so many other things that I could comment on about this book. It deals with a lot of other issues. It deals with just so many things, so many interesting topics, and I think it deals with them in a really sensitive way, in a way that I was quite impressed by. But I don't want to comment on all of them because I still want there to be surprises for you when you read it. I still want you to be blown away by how stunning it is. I will say that there may be some insensitivities in here that I'm not recognising or picking up on because I'm reading it from a very specific perspective, from the perspective of who who I am. and. There are topics in here that I didn't know a lot about, I haven't really been exposed to, and I thought that they were dealt with very well. If you're coming from a different position, a different perspective, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I think that would be really interesting. I think it's a sort of book that can create a discussion, and that to me is a hallmark of a great book. It creates a discussion, and it's, I think it's something that's important to talk about. I think it talks about issues that are important to be discussed. I love this book so much. Of course I did. It was my favourite book of last year in that it just blew me away. It was full of surprises. And to be honest, I picked this up on a total whim. I saw it in my local library and I thought, yeah, why not? I don't know what else to get. And I was absolutely blown away by it. And I'm so glad I picked it up. I'm so glad I tried it. I don't know why I don't hear more people talking about it, unless maybe I'm missing something. But on the whole, I thought this was an absolutely stunning book. It comes highly, highly recommended from me, so if you can get your hands on it, I really think you should. And that's it for now. I will be back with my January wrap-up, or a little short video, probably not that short because I like to waffle, but a little video on what I read this month and what I've enjoyed, what maybe I haven't enjoyed so much. I've got a little pile of books over there, some of which I'm really excited to talk about, one of which I want to throw out a window, but I'll chat about that in my next video. Hope you find a really good day. Bye.